So I thought this bag was empty, but there's actually something in it. This is insane. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm about to hit some really cool places today, so I'm super excited for you to join me. But as always, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy my videos, leave me a like. It helps me out so, so much. And also leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing I found today was. Before we get into the video, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, FabFitFun. So this huge box behind me is from FabFitFun and we're gonna unbox it together. I'm so excited about today's sponsor because I think it can be a great alternative to so many of you guys that have told me that you want a dumpster dive but you can't, whether it has to do with where you live at or if you have health concerns. With FabFitFun, every box is filled with so many unique finds at an amazing price. And just as if you were dumpster diving, there are so many surprises you can find. I'm opening the box now, and let's do a quick sneak peek. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. And in case you guys didn't know, FabFitFun is a lifestyle subscription where you get six products per season from top brands across beauty, fashion, home, wellness, skincare, and more. My favorite part is that I get to choose all the products that I get in each box and it fits my lifestyle and what I like. So I'm starting to take a peek in the box and I'm so excited. There's so much stuff. But what's also really cool about FabFitFun is if you're a member, you get access to amazing flash sales with top brands such as Prada, Summer Fridays, and so much more of up to 70% off. The average member saves up to $500 in their first season. So this first product is something that I've been super excited about and it's actually a set of two. It's the Amica Mirror Ball. It's a high shine plus protect antioxidant shampoo and conditioner. And I haven't smelt it yet, so I am super excited. I think I have to break the seal. Okay, I finally got it open and it smells so good. I haven't tried this product yet, so I'm probably gonna end up trying it tonight. I've heard so many good things about this brand. Next up is another Amica product. If you can't tell, I am super excited to try this brand because they're expensive. I haven't tried them before. So this one is the Smooth Over Frizz Fighting Treatment. So I have naturally curly hair, so I think this will really help when I blow dry, after I get out of the shower, my hair is wet. And smell testing, it smells just as good as the shampoo and conditioner. This next item is definitely me preparing for the Texas summer. I picked a baseball cap and it's from Champion. The color is so perfect. I'm gonna try it on. Oh, that is so cute. I'm kind of building up a hat collection because if I wanna be out doing anything in the sun, then I need something to cover my face and this is perfect and cute. This wouldn't be a summer box without a beach tote. Look at how cute this is. The quality on it looks amazing. It's perfect for taking it down, getting it a little bit sandy. It has an adjustable strap. This is so cute. Looks, oh, the inside is spacious and there's an extra little pocket here too. I'm going to the beach later this summer, so I'm definitely gonna get some good use out of this. So this is the product that I've been super patient about, but it's actually an anklet. This beautiful anklet is from the brand Danny Jo. I'll pull it out so you can see, but this is probably gonna be my favorite thing in the box. It's like a double layer. I am so excited to try this. It's gonna be perfect for the summer just like everything else in the box. That is so cute. And last but not least is a skincare serum from Earth Harbor. This one is a C-retinol digital serum. It has like a really nice silky, kind of like smooth texture. So I'm definitely gonna be trying this along with the hair care products I got. I'm just gonna try everything tonight and I just dropped it. Okay, we're good. The dropper did not break, but as I was saying, I'm just super excited. This box was amazing. I'm definitely going to get so much use out of everything I found here. Get started today finding so many goodies at FabFitFun. If you use my code GLAMOURGIFT, you can get a free gift valued over $200 with a new annual membership. I recommend signing up as an annual member because you can get the most out of it, but if you still wanted to sign up as a seasonal member, you can use code GLAMOUR and get 20% off your first box. 
Each season's box is valued up to $350, and when you use my code, your first box is only $55.99. Don't miss this amazing opportunity and get signed up now. Thank you again to FabFitFun for sponsoring this video. I'm dumpster diving at TJ Maxx now. I just ripped open this bag, and it looks like there's gonna be some good stuff. I'm just gonna kind of quickly go through it. Oh, those are so pretty. It looks like some earrings. Might be missing one. It's kind of some random stuff in here. The big item looks like there's a little organizer cart. This bin fell out, but it looks like all of the pieces are there. So I'm gonna work on getting this one out and then double checking this bag, grabbing all this stuff out. I think I saw another bag on the other side as well. As I'm digging through this bag, I found another set of earrings. It is missing a few here as well, but there is those two, there's two there. So I'll still be able to get some use out of that. And then it looks like that's everything, just some random stuff. And I'm checking this side now. I'm already pulling this. I already ripped this bag open, but there's a couple of random things in here. Some dog treats. It looks like this bag might have gotten ripped open, but might still be sealed at the actual little seal thing. Oh, this super cute piece of decor. It's like a bird, but I don't see anything wrong with it. And it is so adorable. But other than those bags, everything else in here just looks like it's normal trash. Quick haul from TJ Maxx. I found a couple sets of earrings. There are a few missing in both of them. Shirts and socks, little footies, some dog treats. These were sealed. This is like ripped open, but the actual bag is sealed. Some organizers. And then this is really nice. The wheel is broken, but it's not that big of a deal. It can definitely be used still. And then there's a little decor. It's a bird. That one is so cute. It looks like it might be a little bit scuffed up there some Disney stuff and then this I think is a jewelry holder. Hey guys I'm checking my Ulta dumpster and there's a bunch of loose makeup in here so there's some in this box I kind of collected some put it in a box but there's also it's just all over the place like back there there's some makeup I'm gonna try and grab this stuff I think there's some more under here there's a box that just completely fell and all of this fell out and then there's also like right here there's a bag right here and i think it also has some makeup oh yeah there's some makeup i don't know what all this is but maybe some eyeliners i just opened this bag up and there's a bunch of makeup in here as well there's a ton of rubber bands but a bunch of makeup i'm just starting a little box here get those out later but there's more hopefully I didn't drop it to the bottom I think a few things might have also I'm checking the dumpster right next door and look at how big this tv is I don't even know how they would have gotten that in there it's huge so it's the next day I'm checking my Ulta again and it is full like this whole dumpster is so full of stuff there's a bunch of these tonas from Wella there's a few here and then there's probably like another 10 or 20 of them they kind of fell back there but for the most part they're all full and then on the other side i'll show you on this side there's a huge super heavy soup box so i'm going to take this with me there's a store next to me and the door is open so i'm trying to be super quick i'm not going to go through this here i'm just going to take it with me and let's see if there's anything good in here so i was just about to leave and there's a bag here and it's full of perfumes the wind is going crazy there's like five or ten of them here i don't know if they're all empty I'm just gonna grab this bag as well. So I'm going through this soup bag. I just took my glove off, but everything in this box is pretty much destroyed. I was able to save a few things like these brushes. I'll flip it so you can see. They just need cleaned up, but there's a couple brushes. They did destroy a bunch of hair tools. They cut the cords really short, and then the actual cord, they just completely chopped it up. A couple of combs. They didn't destroy these. I think these are skincare products. There's three of them. And then as for the perfumes, they are all empty, but I still want to take them. The actual bottles are so pretty. Here's a quick overview of what I found. So there's a bunch of Milani, Morphe, and NYX makeup. Some more lipsticks here, lip liners, and then there's some eyeliners and eyebrow pencils here. I also found some skincare stuff. I did check the expiration dates at the bottom and they don't expire until 2026. So I don't know why they threw those away. That's for all of those. And then I did clean up the brushes. They are so cute. They came out pretty nice. And then same thing with the combs. I have to clean these a little bit better. And then one more brush here. So not bad, not a bad score. I'm surprised they didn't destroy that stuff. So I'm checking my PetSmart now. This is one I have not been to before, but 
Looks like I might be a little bit lucky here. There's a couple of harnesses. This one's a Kong. Looks like it might have been tried on. There's some dog fur here, but those can definitely be saved. There's also a little dog toy that's a little bit chewed up. Um, also looks like a bowl here. I did see a ton of dog food. I'll show you the other side. So on this side here, there's a bunch of dog food. There's some dry food, a bunch of those bags. And there's also a couple bags of frozen food. It has kind of thawed out, so it might, it might not take those. But I can definitely take some of this and check expiration dates. All right, guys, I am checking my mall dumpster now. And if you can see that, it is loaded. There's a ton of Bath and Body Works bags here. I think that, I think there's a ton of broken candles here. So I'm gonna check those out, but there's also a huge box and it looks like this is full of clothing. I don't really know. I haven't really investigated it too much, but it looks like there's a ton of stuff. This box is huge. So I'm gonna start with getting this box out and then I'm also gonna take some bags Maybe take a peek here, see what all's inside them. And then on the other side, it looks like there's some more stuff. I'm out of breath, security just passed by, so I'm trying to be quick. Just pulled that box out and there's so much more clothing under it. It looks like it goes like all the way down, even below these Bath and Body Works bags. So I'm just trying to get all of this out and then also check the other side before security pulls up. I think they're pretty strict here. Okay, I'm checking the other side now and there's a bag from, I might say this wrong, but Swarovski. It's like a jewelry store. I didn't think much of it because I feel like empty boxes, but look at this. It looks like it's a necklace. Oh, maybe a bracelet, but I don't know if it's broken or not. I'm just gonna grab this whole bag as well. I'm taking a quick sneak peek in this Bath and Body Works bag before I grab everything and leave but there's a, it looks like a three wick candle and it is not even used yet. There might be a little crack on it, but it is not shattered. I'm gonna grab the rest of these and we'll go through them when I get home. And I'm grabbing the rest of these out and they are so heavy. So I just ripped into another bag and this is Sephora. I got so excited because there's a Chanel box, but unfortunately it is empty. It looks like they, didn't throw any makeup away. I cannot get that open, but it's empty. And then there's like a ton of like Versace's, just everything in here, but everything, all these boxes are empty. They even, these were eye like little mini eyeshadow palettes. They even took the makeup out and just threw the plastic away. So the next day I'm back home and I have everything I found last night. So I found a huge jackpot. It looks like from three different stores. I think I'm gonna start with these Bath and Body Works mystery bags. There are so many of them, so I'm excited to see what we find. And then we also have all of these dresses. I have a whole nother box in my car. And then I also found a bag from Swarovski. Bag number one, I already opened it, but it has a candle and it's not broken at all. I already checked it out. There's no cracks or chips on this one. So I have no idea why they would have thrown it away. I haven't smelled this one before. I don't know if it's a new scent, but it smells amazing. Just to save a little bit of time, I did go ahead and open them all up, but it looks like, so there's a few here that are not cracked. This one is burnt, but not cracked. Same thing, this one, this one's brand new. It's not cracked at all. There's a couple broken ones here, but that can definitely be saved. Reuse all of this wax. This one has like a little tiny crack, but same thing with that one. A lot of these have little cracks. Some of these are completely shattered. This one's completely shattered. That one I think might be empty and it's cracked anyway. Yeah, that one's already done. And then this one was the one that was brand, oh, little tiny crack there. And then a mini candle that is also cracked. Next, I'm just ripping into this bag and I have been so excited to see this. It's a little bit dirty it looks like, but it doesn't look like it's broken. It might be a little bit tangled in the back. So it was just a little bit tangled, but as you can see, it's perfectly fine. And all of these boxes are just empty boxes. Let me make sure. That one might have something. Let's take a peek. It has a little jewelry case in there. And it has nothing, so it's an empty box there. And then this one also has one. Let's see if we can pull this out. This one's pink. That's so pretty. Let me see if I can get it with one hand. Oh my gosh, this one actually has something in there. Those are so pretty. I wonder if they're broken? I don't think so. 
I'm gonna pull them off the hooks and check them, but they don't look like they're broken. I'm checking the earrings and the clasp on one of them is, it kind of feels like it might be broken, but I think it can be fixed fine. But they're so pretty. Other than that, I think they, they look like they're brand new. And the last thing I found are a ton of dresses. This is just as insane as everything else I found. But I started taking a look. I already kind of pulled a few out, but they are dresses. There's a few leggings mixed in, but there's probably like 50 to 100 dresses in here. I'm going to pull a few out just so you can kind of see what they look like. I don't know if there's maybe like a little cheap dress store there, but they threw all of these away. This is the same dumpster that I found all of those men's shoes. I don't know if you saw my last video, but I found a ton, maybe like 15 pairs of men's loafers and they were so nice. Here's one of the dresses I found. It's super sparkly. The uh, sequins are so pretty on it. I'm going to check a few more. Another dress. This one is so cute. I would probably wear it if it was in my size. This one looks so fancy. It's actually not bad quality. It's super soft. I'm going to pull one more out just to show you. I think I'm going to pull this black sequin out. That one looks like it's going to be fun. This last one is pretty, but the sleeves are so long on it. I think it's meant to be more like a flowy look, but this was a pretty crazy night dumpster diving. I'm definitely going to be hitting the mall more often. I hope you enjoy my mall videos. They're, it's one of my favorite places to go. But eventually I will be posting these dresses to my website. So if you're interested, probably in the next week or two, I will have some up. If you're interested, you can shop my finds.